What's up, YouTube? When it comes to a nation and influencing an entire nation, it always starts with the individual. And I don't want to say one person is more valuable than, a, than another person, but a person can be more influential than a million people. Because if they change who they are inside of themselves, they change everyone around them. They change their family, immediate family, close friends who might have been family from another time. They, they change the people on their block. Then they change the people in that little part of their neighborhood. Then they change the whole municipal area, the whole county, or the whole the whole uh, city. Then you know. The, then it goes from the whole state or region, whole uh, province. Then it's the whole seaboard. Then it's the whole half of the country or whatever, whole east or west. Then you got the whole country on smash. Changing because of the one what one individual did. It starts with one individual. Like it's one female that sells all the females up the river. If it's one female being scandalous, she's she's selling all the other females out. Same thing with the dudes. If it's one doing it, it it's it's just that simple. So one of us is all of us. One of us is enslaved or sick, then we all enslaved or sick. So it just the the, the degrees vary. The degrees of slavery and sickness vary, but we all are sick or enslaved if one of us is. Because we're so divinely connected. Because again, it's, it's groups of souls throughout the universe, but we have groups of kindred spirits that all have a connecting person that connects us to another group, that connects us to another, like the degrees of so-called separation. So, if we... If you look at a nation, a nation is nothing more than a bunch of families coming together with a common bond or a common landscape that that just brings them together so that they so that they can, you know, uh, do whatever they feel like, you know, they're trying to achieve. So it comes down to families. If you change your family structure in one individual in a family, one influential person in someone's family. You could change that whole family for the next hundred years. Like if you kill somebody. Like if you go and take over an area, conquer an area. What happens when people conquer an area? They kill the warrior class. Then they take the children. And anybody influential that, that wasn't a warrior. And they inject certain things into their being, into their... What you know, basically a creative portal. That's what they are. So we inject that into them as creative vessels. So if we change one family, we can change. It does, it's like it's infinite at that point. It could be off-world at that point. So that's all the nation is. It's a collection of families. And when we take it back, if we go to a really look and break it down as far as America. No one ever really talks about the Moorish presence or the African French presence. Like, as far as the French having Africans fighting for them and against them. And same thing in in America in, America, in the colonies. It, like, why was Crispus Attucks the first blasted? Like, if we just really get into it, as far as Kemet. If we look at Kemet and how did, how Kemet fell, crumbled from within, like all things. Again, when it comes to the displacement, these people, once they were ran out of that area, ran into West Africa, South Africa, all over, and in, into India, all over the all over the world. But uh, as Kemet fell, and these people that are so called uh, so-called Jews, or whatever you would, which you would call a, a Hebrew at the time, Kemetic people that had these practices, the Tree of Life and all that, the Palmeteru, which became the Merkaba and all that, and all that good, but it's really the Palmeteru, the Tree of Life. You can call it what you want, but it's all the same thing, you know. Or we could all just say it's different branches from the same tree. So, these people were displaced. These families were displaced, spread all apart, all over Africa, and when it came to colonizing Africa, 
these are the people that were the first ones to get round up to sent as far as slaves because they had worked their their society crumbled. So these are the people that were all a lot of these people were thrown on ships, brought across the Atlantic Ocean, brought to Asia, India, all over the world. And it's a formula there. You break up the family. Just like what they did to the Aborigines. You break up the family. You create a severance there. You cut off their hair. You feed them bleach flour, white sugar. This would you know it, it you confound their brain and body, which confounds the mind, so the self can't flow through it like it would. So then you inject doctrine that's religious, that's similar to theirs, that they can learn to accept because it's similar, because it is theirs. Like they say, you go to Afri like Africa, you know, they came, they, the people came with the colony, the colonists came with the Bible, they told the African to pray, gave him the Bible, the African opened his eyes, he had the Bible and the colonists had Africa. So... It's, it's the same story spat back at them. And it, it just, you know, as soon as you influence the families like that, you totally destroyed in hundreds of years of, of, of existence for people. And it happened internally first, don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying, like, they didn't, it, well, it didn't have to be done. And the influence that it created for as far as ripples throughout time is, is just staggering. Because we have hundreds of years of people not knowing themselves people you know if you look at the Americas and what it's built on the blood it's built on and it's just crazy what has been done just from breaking up a family because that's all it really is you're breaking up of families it's just like if you have people in a neighborhood and the fan the father impregnates a bunch of females and skips town all those kids are going to they're all going to meet at some point in life. And the love will be there. The connection will be there. Now, who knows? If they know themselves, I mean, they, chances are they don't truly know themselves. But if they do, that's great. But if they don't, who's to say that they won't take that love or connection the wrong way and, and copulate or have kids with someone who is, in, in reality, their cousin or their actual brother or sister? So this just all happens from breaking up one person from the family, which this can do, the unraveling effect. So that's, with one nation, it always starts with the family. It's all about the family structure. When you have a kid, you're changing the world, you're changing the universe. You know, you're creating a portal there that is timeless. And it's, you know, as far as abortion, too, it's, it's an amazing, you know, you're, you're, it's trauma on a soul, either way. And emotional trauma and physical trauma on the on the parents and everyone involved whether they like to admit it or not it's trauma so just one person one soul can can ripple into eternity and have us where we are today where you have hundreds of years of oppression because you broke up families or families broke themselves up however you want to look at it it starts with the family but that starts from the individual so if you influence one person in that family, you never know. You just never know. Like, people are haphazardly having kids. So if you haphazardly have kids, it's like if somebody knocked on your door and said, Hey, I'm your ancestor from 4,000 years ago. Let me in. Like, come on. You don't know what they're bringing, what energies they're bringing with them. You know, like you got some tribes in Africa that would sing. They'll, when the name pops into the brain of the mother or the father, like, Daniel, whatever. And they say, this is the name of, that I'm going to name my child. People say, like, you know what, I'm going to name my kid this. It's not just, you didn't just think that, silly. That came to you from that person. And you can look at it too like this, like me, my name being Taylor, or the name that was given being Taylor. You can look at that as the parasite, Taylor being the parasite. It has the same gematria numbers and everything, but it's not the true name. Until you find the true self, you won't know the true name. But it will have a parasite, a parody, a parrot, paradox, similar but not the same. So when it comes to that, you, you know, you have, you're bringing these, you know, you have a name come to you. You say, this is the name of my child. If you know how to listen to the universe, like the Dogons, who had discovered stars long before Galileo had ever put a telescope together, supposedly. 
they had discovered star stars and been painting them on their outfits and on buildings. Stars that people didn't find out till 20th century, you know, 19th century. Dogons, no god backwards. Dogons, West Africa. So you have people that they know, they listen to the universe. This name pops in the head and they say, okay, let me listen deeper. Then, you know, the, the, the tune or gematria, the, the rhythm that comes with that, that person, they know that, that song. So they sing that song then in meditation. Then they sing that song in the act of sex. They bless the room. They, in many different ways, they know the proper position of the sexual act. Bring, they sing it during the sex. They sing the song at birth. And then on the way out, when that person is dying, they sing the song. So the tune, the verse, the universe is carried on from life to life. So it, it's, there's, no, there's no missing you know yourself. And everyone around you knows them, their self. So it's just harmony. Again, it's just a verse. So it's just it's just that real. It's just it just comes down to knowing ourselves and and our offspring and the family that you know who we're bringing through. We need to know who we're bringing through, or we shouldn't be doing it. Honestly, shouldn't be doing it haphazardly. You should totally know who you're bringing through, and they should totally know that they're coming through. You you don't want to pull somebody through into this vehicle that might be uh, and not even be out of true love totally you know some element of love will be there but if it's out of lust and then you bring it you're creating a vehicle out of lust this body froze it in time this energy this lust energy this body of lust energy and then who knows what planet or what thing is driving this that essence that true self that ancestor is still there, but they might be in the trunk of the vehicle. They might be in the back seat. They're not consciously driving the vehicle. They're just awareness. So, it, you can't. You gotta. You gotta know yourself. You gotta know everyone. You gotta know. You have to know, not think, when it comes to having kids. So, that's how you build. That's how you change the world. When two families come together like that. You marry. When you marry, mirror image, mar marriage. When you do that. You're, you're bringing two families. You marry the whole family. Trust me.